we use a variety of different pakoras on our menu. My most popular is my vegetable pakora, which traditionally at home is potato and onion, but we actually add broccoli now to ours as well, which is from Scotland, so Scottish broccoli. Chicken pakora is massive here in Glasgow. So I'm here at the Beckfeet Street Food Festival. This is multi award winning um, street food market. Um, and I really am so curious to find about uh, because Glasgow is kind of a very multicultural city. So I really want to see what is here and what I can eat and feed myself because I'm really hungry and I didn't eat my breakfast because I really want to experience the food here. So I'll take you around as well and let's see and explore together what is here under this roof. While I was exploring this street food market, I came across this Pakora Explorer and I'm so excited to find out that she's Pakistani like myself and this lovely lady, Sheetal Revis. So Sheetal, how did you start and what this Pakora Explorer is? Really, I kind of started as a bit of a midlife crisis, to be honest. Um, I've got a day job and it's a really great day job, but I just decided that I wanted something a bit different in life. I love cooking. Um, every Asian person probably grew up in the kitchen, which is where I did with, with my mom and dad or mama and papa Pakora, as I've called them. And so I said to them I wanted to try and do something different and I created the Pakora Explorer. So I converted a horse box into a food truck and I drive around Scotland and I go to events and festivals and, and just make Pakora for, for anybody who wants to eat it. So Sheetal, you know Pakora is available everywhere. Yeah? In Scotland we find it everywhere in restaurants, in takeaways, um, in, in even supermarkets, yeah. in um, convenience shops or stores. So you tell me, right? Um, why your pakora is different from others? What makes it so special? Well, that's a million dollar question. And to be honest, um, it's a fact that it's our family recipe, authentic family recipe. We use our own masalas in the pakora mix as well. So the gara masala is my grandmother's recipe that she passed to my mum and my mum passed to me. The mix that we use for the chicken pakora is my mum's quick version of a chicken curry. We made that into masala and now we use it in our pakora. So nobody else has these recipes. And I think the other difference from mine is that we've stuck true to the original recipe, which is 100% gram flour. And quite often in takeaways, restaurants, they're maybe using a mix, so it's different, different flavor, different texture, but we've kept true to our original Pakistani recipe that we know. We would like to know more about your Pakora Explorer, your journey, and where did that word Explorer come from? We've actually got quite an interesting story because I was born in London and my parents immigrated to London in the 60s but separately they weren't together at that point and luckily that they met and I was created but actually I grew up in the Orkney Islands which is at the very north of Scotland so we moved from London all the way up to Orkney and we were pretty much one of the first Asian families on the island because my dad's sister was already there so he went up to visit her, fell in love with the place and said this is a great place to bring up kids. Um, and then for university, I came to Glasgow and I just loved being here. And so as a family, we've always traveled. My parents have taken us on great holidays and so Pakora Explorer just seems to fit everything about me and my family. As you know, Glasgow is a multicultural city, right? Um, would you like to tell us that how Pakora Explorer is playing an important role of bringing all these different communities together? I mean, it's one of the things I love about Glasgow. It doesn't matter your culture, your creed, your religion. Everybody is welcome here in Glasgow. And that's why they say people make Glasgow. And I think everybody knows that you can get together around food, you can get together around kitchen table. Even if you don't speak the same language, you can all enjoy a nice meal together. And I think that's what brings people together. And, you know, the other thing is, is we want to see more Pakistanis coming out to events like this. I mean, look at the range of events and, and food that's available here. Um, and so we want to see more people coming out of the community. This isn't just, I didn't do this because I'm Pakistani and I want to bring Pakistani food to Pakistani people. I'm bringing our authentic food, what we had on our kitchen table, to the people of Glasgow who have maybe not tried something really authentic and that's what I'm trying to do. We use a variety of different pakoras on our menu. My most popular is my vegetable pakora, which traditionally at home is potato and onion, but we actually add broccoli now to ours as well, which is from Scotland, so Scottish broccoli. Chicken pakora is massive here in Glasgow and in Scotland in general. And I had quite a few arguments with my mum because she said, this is not traditional. We don't have chicken pakora in Pakistan. I said, mum, you brought me up in Scotland and I love this stuff. So reluctantly she gave in and actually she comes back for seconds. So she loves my chicken pakora. And of course I'm in Scotland. So I've got a veggie haggis pakora on the menu as well because you can't be in Scotland and not have something linked to haggis as well. 
And I think really, I just want to sort of show people that, you know, I'm yes, I'm Pakistani, but I've mixed with the community. I grew up in the Highlands of Scotland where there weren't other Pakistanis there. So we just wanted to say that here, we're in the community. Come and see us, come and speak to us. I use halal chicken as well. So come and try these events, come and try the different food and come and speak to everybody that's here. Hey, well, you're at Big Feed today. Uh, we kicked off about three years ago. Uh, to try and find a, well, create a platform for Scottish street foods. There wasn't anything really happening at the time. Uh, so we found a unit over on the south side of Glasgow and we kicked off, it will be three years ago, actually the end of this month. So we've got a big birthday party coming for the next one. Yeah, I also own, uh, I started off with Fire Dog Hot Dogs. And when we kicked off four years ago, there wasn't anywhere really to trade. There was some farmers markets. Uh, and then from going down to London and Manchester, Liverpool, looking at the vibrant street food scene they had down there, I decided to create something in Glasgow, uh, which is basically what we've done. We've got a chance to pull together the best of Scottish street foods. We've created Big Feeds, which is a real family-centric, real family day out. We've got face painters, we've got entertainment for kids, DJs, live music, and the best of Scottish street foods. You're watching Scottish Funny. Please subscribe to Scottish Funny, like, share, and comment.